Off the top at 11, a deadly shooting in Somerville tonight. One man is dead. His roommate is under arrest. Investigators spoke just moments ago saying this all started with an argument and ended with violence. Good evening to you. I'm David Wade. And I'm Anaritis Rodriguez. We want to get right out to WBZ's Christina Rex, who's live tonight in Somerville with what we're learning. Christina? David and Anna Redis, we just finished speaking with District Attorney Marion Ryan, and she tells us there was some kind of verbal argument between these two roommates that ended in one shooting and killing another. Now we want to show you some video from the scene tonight. This all happened around 545 inside a two-family home in the area of 25 Ware Street here in Somerville. Investigators say after a verbal fight, 26-year-old Edson Marino, who lived inside that home, shot and killed his roommate. That victim, 22-year-old Robert Fabro of Cambridge. Now, the DA says Fabro had been staying in that apartment for roughly six to eight weeks, but that the suspect had lived there much longer. She confirmed that a woman hiding in the closet during the shooting called 911 and told police exactly what was happening before they got there. She was able to give them a fairly detailed account. Officers were clearly prepared, had already had emergency personnel dispatched to provide assistance immediately to Mr. Favreau, and expected and knew that there was a gun at the scene, so were prepared when they arrived and saw the defendant allegedly with a handgun outside. And when police arrived on the scene, they say they found Edson Marino outside the home with that gun in his hand. And when they asked him to drop the gun, they say he did do so. He was then arrested. He's been charged with assault with the intent to murder, assault with a dangerous weapon, and firearms charges. Now, the district attorney tells me there is still a strong possibility that murder charges will be filed. She's just going to wait until after an autopsy is conducted to file those. And that suspect will be arraigned in Somerville District Court tomorrow morning. Live at the police station, Christina Rex, WBZ News. Christina, thank you.